everybody, and welcome to a new Let's Play. Today I'm joined by Spraying Ankle on Burned Back, Shadow Ganon, <laughs> and held against his will, Voidwalker Sarge. Yeah, I'm here. Today we're going to be doing a game that I never thought I would own, let alone play. And that's not just because I'd never heard of it until it was uh, free on the marketplace. This game's, this game's art style looks a little iffy. It makes me think of a certain something that I wish didn't exist. But, uh, I kept hearing nothing but good things about it, so I decided to give it a try, and it was pretty good. And I liked it a lot, actually. I wouldn't even mind a sequel. Uh, let's just, let's just start a new game right here in slot 3. I'm going with normal. I've already beaten it on the highest difficulty. Yeah, Should've I played watched it on the highest difficulty. Our world has fallen to fade. Its great works long since complete. Its storied civilizations long since fallen to dust. The greatest legends of Elysium, long since forgotten. What was once a land of promise, has fallen to the ravages of war. And it was in this, our most desperate hour, that the greatest of Elysian tales began. The lone warrior stood against an army, slashing his way through all who opposed him. The mob stood no chance. And the soldier <laughs> Die! Die! Press X to wage war. But despite his victories, his skills, his ruthlessness, the valiant soldier would perish on this day. Not to the mob, but to a single child. Yeah, he probably let his guard down. I stab you! Dust. Dust. Arise. But I don't want to. It's so much work. It's a flying sword thing. What? A talking sword? What are you? I like sword. Oh, which you have summoned. Summoned? How? For what purpose? That I do not know. But we shall learn in time. Now rise. And claim the blade of Ara. No, nope. why is no one question the talking sword? Because talking sword. Stop! Stop right there! And who is she? Me? I'm Fidget, guardian of the sword. No offense, but aren't you a bit, well, small? For a guardian, I mean. Hey, I just look after that thing. After 200 years, nobody expects the sword to just fly off and start, you know, talking. I'm kind of wishing somebody told me this was part of the job description. Or maybe they did, and I just wasn't paying attention. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Sounds like you're a lousy guardian to me. I'm sorry, I think I misheard before. You said your name was Fidget? Hey, this isn't about me. You're the one who's got my sword. How about you tell me your name? I you just guarding I'm... it. Ah, calm yourself, Fidget. His name is Dust, and he is the one who woke me from my slumber. So, Fidgets, then? That's me, and you're Dust? It would seem that way, though I can't recall that name. So, what is this sword? I am the Blade of Ara, and you, Dust, are my fated sword bearer. Well, that's all great and everything, but I think it's about time I got this sword back to the claim. You obviously don't know how this Can't is gonna you work. Just leave with this sword, <laughs> Fidget. Right now, it's the only thing that knows who I am. I don't even know how I got here. Hmm. Well, then you leave me no choice. I, I, I challenge you. The winner gets the sword. Seriously? I, I could eat you for breakfast, literally. <laughs> yep. Well, I. You win, but don't think I'm leaving empty-handed. I'm coming with you. Dang, I, she's so weak, I didn't even have to fight her. The sword back when you're done doing, you know, whatever it is you're doing. What exactly am I doing, Hara? I ask myself that question every morning. To the east. There is a path through the glade that leads down the mountainside, and from there you will find a village. That is your first step. So you ask then a mythical sword. sword? <laughs> What you're doing? Get it back home, 
before anyone notices it's uh, gone. When I find out just what it is I'm supposed to do with it, it's all yours, Fidget. Come on, let's go. I decided to take the nice guy route, but uh, if I chose the other option, it's pretty funny. I might go ahead and slice it in at the end of the episode because hilarity. <laughs> okay. Treasure key. Gee, I wonder if this is used for some kind of treasure. At oh, least yeah. they make it obvious. And yeah, we have no equipment. Nah, it's to get inside my house. Yeah, Hopefully. it's called the home. It's called the treasure house. A locked chest. I wonder how I open it. Remember, kids, the first one is free. Are you sure about that? It's how it always works in video games. You always get the first few areas handed to you. <coughs> uh, it's called tutorial. Yeah, is there, there are here? very few games that do not have at least some tutorial. Even Dark Souls has a slightly easy one. <laughs> <laughs> the final boss will give you... I mean, the first boss of the game will give you some trouble until you learn basic dodge skills, but... True. What is it, Fidget? Stop fidgeting. Well, my kind has what you'd call a sixth sense. And there's something just ahead. Just ahead? Is there shoulders, too? What about legs? Ability acquired. Hey, you get to dash. Dash. Da da dash. I'm doing air quotations. Because I don't call that a dash. I call that a, a sliding roll. At least a roll. Sidestep. Yeah, you show that wall to your boss. Castlevania chicken. All right, we found a chest. This is a nice chest. Found a locked chest. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash it open. That would be unwise, Dust. These chests are protected by arcane locks from the last era, and are well beyond my capabilities. Seriously, a legendary sword can't break open a chest. I don't and now care how for the weirdest chest opening. X B A. Why am I doing this? <laughs> Who knows? Uh. I'm gonna go in the hole. I'm gonna crawl in the hole. You gotta allow to. It's that's as bad as Castlevania needing you to get a slide. How dumb it how simple is it to slide, you know? You just <laughs> run and then you lower yourself to the ground while running. Die! Die! Deer! Kill you. Running deer? Doe, food. A deer, a female deer, ray, ray a, a drop, drop of golden falling. sun. Weird. Me <laughs> a name, he doesn't know it. Ooh, are these things I can slash? Monster. Ah, real monsters! I miss that show. <laughs> Focus. Remember what you've learned thus far. What have I learned? I've learned to press A to win. <laughs> Fourth wall breaking much? Jeez, Fidget. Who do you think you are? I can't think of somebody. Quick, press A to win. Actually, I'm pretty sure pressing A will not help you win. Ow. My first damage! Yay! I'm boss! Against the first enemies of the game. Nobody said anything I kept pressing the wrong monsters. button. <laughs> well, nobody should stop talking all the time. Learn these skills. You wield the blade of Ara, and with it, all the skills imbued therein. All the one skills imbued therein. Monsters? Is that why I summoned you? To control this power? It is unlikely, Dust, that I would awaken from my slumber for such selfish reasons. There is a village beyond these woods. Perhaps finding it will aid in restoring your memories. And then we'll be in the clear, right? No more monsters? Fidget, I think things are about to get a whole lot worse. <sighs> and to think, this morning started off so well. At least take these feeble fruits. Something tells me you're going to need. But they're so feeble! Are you saying something about me? <clears throat> you know what I really like about this Let's Play? I don't know. English voice acting! Yeah. All the silence! Darn you, One Piece! Uh, didn't, didn't I start? It didn't, it started, One, two, but three. it didn't. Okay, save slot three. There we go! We have save. save! I also love how freaking fast it saves in this game. Quick! More enemies! Beat them with the sharp side of your sword! There is no, there is no dull side of my sword. I don't think that sword's double-edged. Ow! There I could goes. be wrong though. I mean, the way it's built just screams one blade. 
curved sword. Which means he would have to have high dexterity bonuses to get the most out of it. Give me all your stuff. Jeez, so the guy who doesn't like D&D, he started using a lot of D&D terminology. Hey, guess what else uses dexterity for curved swords? Dark Souls. True. Although I'll admit, make, make, uh, making fun of things by adding uh, uh, Dungeons & Dragons terminology is kind of cool. <laughs> Even though I know very, very little about D&D. And refuse to play it. I'm just not interested in tabletop games. And They're yet not. you want to be a DM. I keep trying to use a move I don't have access to. Well, you used a parry. If this yeah. were Dark Souls, you could have probably instant killed that character. Yep. But Perry and stab him in the ass. Getting a backstab. I like to call it the ass slash wave. <laughs> and new ability. Oh dear, Dust. You have unlocked a new ability. Bear witness to the dust storm. Uh, oh no, I'm going to cost 1950s farmers their lands. I like ah. it. Hold Y to perform the dust storm. But beware. Skilled as you may be. You cannot maintain the storm for long without hurting yourself. In that case, maybe I can help. If you press B, I'll perform an attack. There goes so that fourth wall breaking again. Particularly awesome mm -hmm. that it will produce emotions you didn't even know exist. Please contain yourselves as I demonstrate. Demonstrate? What? What was that? Did you sneeze on them? Oh my gosh! How impressive! You fidgeted on them. I'll just keep the rest of my repertoire to myself. I'm sorry, Fidget. I'm sure it'll come in handy somehow. Actually, Dust, between the three of us, this could be quite useful. The Dust Storm can manipulate Fidget's projectile into a more powerful forever. attack. Hmm. Observe. My, how interesting. <laughs> okay, that's cool. That's a lot of sneezing, buddy. My power, it'll use up a bit of energy meter. You can recharge the meter with melee combos. Or by standing yes. still for a few seconds. Between your combos and Fidget's own powers, you can achieve a higher hit chain, which will yield bonus experience after each battle. However, if you are struck by an enemy, the chain will be broken and you will lose your bonus experience. All right, I think I understand. Basically, hit lots and don't get hit. You can check mm -hmm. out the help screen via the pause menu by pressing start. Or start up. Thanks, Fidget. I'll take a look if I'm ever in trouble. Uh, Set on my forehead. But yes, by utilizing Dust Storm and Fidget, by the end of the game you'll basically become God. Yep. <laughs> Seen him do it. It's kinda broken. It's very broken. And I love it. Of course you have to level it up for it to become broken. Yeah, but it doesn't take that much. You will see, viewers. You will bear witness to the awesome storm of death. Of course, it's even more broken by something I discovered that I'll point out in just a moment. These Since are some weird everything. creatures. Maybe I can keep one as a pet. No, nope, they're either. They honestly don't look all that threatening. Die. Die. Wow, Die. 64 Die. hits. 65 hits, and you only did 205 damage. Anyway, something I discovered. Uh, normally, to do the uh, the what you call it combo, you do this and then you shoot something out, and it takes a second for it to actually do that. But uh, when you press down and wide midair, it does this attack. And I discovered that if you push B while doing that, at the same time, it does it instantly. Takes good timing, apparently, though. No, you just have to press both buttons at the same time. Down, wide, B, all at once, instant. Very nice. Beat them in the face. Man, these things are armed with bones and clubs. You have a sword. Man, these guys don't stand a chance. They're gonna get mowed over. Like a freshly mowed lawn. Right after it rains. Man, also, that smells good. Also, items scattered on the ground you can use as to pull them towards you. Well, like Samus is charged me. Super Vacuum Blade! Yeah, but that pulls them directly into you. Mine just pulls it to to me, but not instantly collecting it. Next, I'll summon Cerberus, area. but instead get turned into a little puppy. Still giving you tutorial messages. Yeah. You think you would know how to play this game by now. But apparently like, it has absolutely no faith in you, Michael. 
Like he has. Oh, no, what's going on? Hey, you just leveled up. Oh. Level up. What I did? It feels good. Great even. As it should, Dust. You've acquired a skill gem. Open the character screen right, so in the How do I get this gem? Did I pass out like a kidney stone? I passed a skill stone! I'm going to go with attack. Prepare to kick ass faster. This is gonna hurt a little bit. When no there's escape. enemies near the screen, it will not allow you to uh, leave. No escape. Dang it. I keep trying to do something, I keep not doing it. I keep bringing this out. Could you just pick up a bent tin can? I have no idea. <laughs> Probably. I never know in this game. And uh, let's check out what's down here. Oh, hey, look at that. Hey, it's a message. It'll say, I am error. Wow. Welcome to your quest log. Oh, I didn't read this earlier. <clears throat> in ancient times, our greatest possessions and staunchest allies were locked away using powerful magic beyond our comprehension. Especially Robert's. The only way to reclaim these lost treasures is to use a magically attuned key strewn about our world that works on any one of them because we're dumb like that. I only hope there is enough time to free them all. You say that, but I'm the one that locked them they all. They chased, <laughs> and I ran. Five, maybe six of them, all armed to the teeth and closing in fast. I made it to Archer's Pass, but with an arrow in my leg that caught uh -huh. up with me at the headless statue. Surrounded, desperate, and nowhere to glow, Go. Oh, go! I climbed out to the head and made a leap of faith. Oh, this is talking about that secret I didn't know about. Secret, secret, secret. So, uh, this guy's never adventuring again. And I hit the right button. Good job. Mysterious Castlevania chicken. Windy! Gotta, gotta go faster. Marvel. Get the key. Hey, what a treasure key. It's like a windy Marvel. Hmm. Look, Marvel Comics. Jump, Phil. There's more of those jump fells, guys. Wow, we just made three references really quickly. Man, look at all these worthless enemies just getting in your way for no reason. They what must really want to die. Ah, my eye hurts. Quit hurting. Get guys. away from me, green pimply slug monster. You're hurting his eyes. Incoming. Take that. He was rubbing his eye against the Skill's gonna make you dizzy. Of course, my you're favorite use of the Why are you not storm. dead yet? It's something Michael hasn't used yet. What's that? The air, the air version. Wait, what are you talking about? The air version of the dust storm. Oh. Talking about this? That I don't have yet? Oh, I thought you already had it. Weird. Nah, it's you a separate will fall. Weird, you think you would get the entire dust storm in one go. Yeah. Also, thanks for spoiling it, you jerk. <laughs> yeah, this game has air combos, and it wouldn't have an air version of this. Nope, certainly doesn't. It says, wow. wow. It's really beautiful up here. Indeed. Yeah. So, any idea where we are? Nope, they let me leave. Maybe hoping you could tell me. Oh, silly me. I seem to have dropped all my detailed maps and navigational equipment chasing after a crazy flying sword. That happens sometimes. I'm sorry I got you mixed up in this fidget. Well, you should be. Sticking me sword, getting me in trouble. Hey, you ain't in trouble. Yet. Now that I think about it, this isn't the first time I've seen this view. I've stood here before, in this place. Well, you had to get here somehow. And perhaps you recognize the village Derp. at the base of these cliffs? Nope. It's hard to make out from here. I we still need to see a village. To if we want to get any closer. Very well. Proceed as you wish, Dust. After all, what's fall damage? Yeah, this game doesn't have that. Nobody loves fall damage. It's everyone's least favorite mechanic. Ugh. Nothing else here. Nothing else matters. Oh, there's a save point. Let me go kill this guy real quick. Assuming it's a guy. Assuming it has gender. I'm sure it does. I just assumed it congealed in a gutter somewhere. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to end every episode on a save point. Specifically because save points... And we're about 20 minutes here, so I think I'll actually do that thing where I keep my videos at a reasonable, you know, um... Le length? Yeah, that word. For the first time in forever? I'm not gonna pull another Wind Waker, I promise. Well, that's enough of that. Uh, I will see you guys in the next project if you're actually watching. Goodbye now. By project, I mean episode. That's all great and everything, but I think it's about time I got this sword back to the clan. 
I can't let you just leave with this sword fidget. Right now, it's the only thing that knows who I am. I don't even know how I got here. Hmm. Well, then you leave me no choice. I... I, I challenge you! The winner gets the sword! <sighs> I don't have time for these games, fidget. Indeed. Time is of the essence. Fidget, you will join us. I will? Oh, well, okay then. Come, Dust. We travel east.